Hey what's up guys welcome to the 21st selenium web driver tutorial again my name is Abhilash and in the previous tutorial we have seen how we can uh, get the text from a web page so basically we have seen how we can get uh, a string data from uh, the web page and print it on our console in uh, Eclipse so basically in today's tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to compare the text that we are getting from the web page and compare it with the expected data that we will provide in our program so let's get started with uh, this tutorial so let's quickly comment this and as we have seen in the previous tutorial we have uh, used the get text method in order to get the text so if you see this okay, we have this get text method which returns the string uh, the data type that is uh, returned is uh, of a string type and uh, because of that we have used a variable of a string data type in order to store the content that uh, uh, the get text method is returning that is the content from the web page so basically we are storing in the data variable and now we have uh, we can uh, declare another string say suppose expected equal to so in this way we can uh, define a new string in java and we can uh, use the variable that is expected in order to check and compare the expected data that we are going to define over here along with the data so this is going to be the actual data and this is the expected data so let's quickly rename it to actual data and let's rename it to expected data so basically we have our string as uh, logged in so let's quickly check the string that we have So basically we have uh, something called as locked in so we'll check both the cases that uh, in one test case it will pass and in the another we will provide uh, the expected data as an incorrect data compared to the actual data so basically this is the way we have uh, assigned or you can say we have declared a variable called as expected data and we have assigned the value to that particular string so we have something called as uh, if statement uh, in this if statement we compare the two strings or you can say the data actually that is the expected and actual data and we check whether both the data is equal or not so it can be of any type like in this case we are going to make use of string data type or you can make use of integers or floats or any other primitive data types that are provided in java so basically what we are going to check is uh, whether the actual data so as you can see we have this actual data dot we have a list of uh, methods that we can use along with the string variable that we have already defined so in this case we are going to check whether it is equal to so we have uh, something called as okay we have something called as equals and equals ignore case so in equals it will check for the case 2 so basically we are going to be we will be using uh, equals and we need to provide the expected data so in this case we have uh, defined our expected data in this variable so let's just quickly use it and so in this case what it is going to do is if statement and then in the parenthesis we are supposed to provide uh, what condition we want to check so basically actual data dot equals expected data this condition will check whether uh, the these two variables contain the same data or not and based on the case sensitive so basically this is case sensitive and even if uh, th this will be actually checked with the actual data that we get in the actual data so even if uh, there is a one character mismatch or you can say one is uppercase and another is lowercase then in this test case it will fail because we are using the equals and it will check for the cases too so basically this is the way we can uh, compare two strings in java and 
you can always print something if it is a successful match so basically let's quickly print it as a string matched or you can say result matched results matched okay and we have another statement called as else which uh, is optional and it follows basically after the if so if you want to check uh, if you want to print or uh, carry out some other operation if uh, for some reason this particular statement is uh, not true or it has failed so what we can do is uh, we can make use of this else statement and inside the curly brackets we are supposed to make the required uh, operations so or you can say we can uh, carry out different uh, operations uh, so in this case we can uh, quickly print the statement and saying that uh, results did not match all right so in this way we can uh, quickly use the if else statement and let's quickly execute this so basically it is going to get the actual data and compare with the expected data that we have provided and since in this case it is uh, the exact data that we are providing so as you can see we have the results matched since uh, the actual data is equal to the expected data in this case so let's quickly uh, change the expected data to say suppose uh, small l so instead of capital l we have provided small l since we are using equals instead of equals ignore case so basically if we execute this so let's quickly check it should go in the else statement and it should print results did not match so that's the way we can uh, compare the two strings in java and we can also get the text from the web page and compare it with the actual data that we provide in our java program so that's it in this tutorial we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial peace